In a brief exercise that was led by ESCC's Deputy Director of Preventive Services, Nema Mkorori, more university systems, policies, procedures and practices will be subjected to intense scrutiny. With this, Mkorori says they will ascertain systemic loopholes at the institution, if any, that can be used in embezzling funds and recommend solutions. The team that we are going to leave behind here is going to look into the systems, policies, procedures and, and practices of, of this institution with a view to identifying any possible weaknesses, uh, loopholes or opportunities that can be utilized by anyone to perpetrate uh, corruption. ESCC manager North Rift Region Office Jafet Baithalu was quick to clear the air on the intentions for visiting the university. It is not about how I mean the, the, the hard power of the commission. This one is what we call the soft power of the commission, where we partner with the institutions and, and give and give them advice. And like where we have enforcement measures where offenses have been committed and investigations carried out, that's a different uh, uh, method of also combating corruption. That is enforcement. We also Moi University Vice Chancellor Professor Isaac Kosge was open and welcoming to the idea, saying it was in the institution's best interest. The ACC in this particular exercise, because that's the only way we can assure the public and the taxpayers and our students, staff, of uh, the efficiency of service delivery in this university. And like somebody has observed, one of the ways you can bring down an entire economy is when you compromise on the educational system. And there's, also, there's, also, there's a talk now that we are producing, or universities or other academic institutions are producing fake papers and so on. So we are very concerned because once you compromise merit, then you compromise the entire economic and governance system in a country. The last time the institution had a run-in with ESCC was when the commission wrote a letter to the institution in September last year about its intention to probe a bloated payroll occasioned by what the anti-corruption watchdog called existence of ghost workers. EACC is yet to make any report, but the university management unequivocally refuted the allegations, terming them as unfounded. The dragon of corruption has reared its head into learning institutions in the country and EACC is promising to slay its head. Whether this works or it shall remain to be another fairy tale, it's just a matter of time. Timothy Simwa K24, Moy University, was in Gishu County.